Today's episode of Overworked History is about David Rice Acheson for President for a Day. David Rice Acheson was born August 11th, 1807 in Kentucky. He attended Transylvania University, where he was classmates with Jefferson Davis. In 1830, Acheson moved to Missouri to set up a law practice. He became very prominent and served as a lawyer for Mormon Church on several occasions. In 1843, Acheson became the first United States Senator from Western Missouri. He became very popular and was made President Pro Tem of the Senate. The reason Acheson was included in this series took place in 1849. James K. Polk was president and his term was set to end at noon on March 4th, 1849. This was supposed to be the inauguration day of President-elect Zachary Taylor. March 4th was a Sunday, so Taylor chose to take the oath of office the next day. Meanwhile, Vice President George Dallas stepped down as President of the Senate on March 2nd. Under the Presidential Secession Act of 1792, the next in line of secession following the Vice President is the President pro tem of the Senate, which was David Vice Acheson. Since James K. Polk's term ended at noon, Vice President Dallas had already stepped down, and Zachary Taylor had not been sworn in, it is sometimes claimed that Atchison was acting president for a day. Atchison himself never claimed he was president, but he did say that Judge Willie Magnum woke him up at doing the morning, asking for the job of Secretary of State. There are several reasons Atchison was not president. His Senate term ended on March 3rd, and the new session of Congress began on March 5th, meaning that for March 4th alone, Acheson was not a senator. In addition, a president does not have to take the oath of office to be considered president, meaning Taylor was serving in the role on March 4th. After his alleged time as president, Acheson continued to serve in the Senate. He was instrumental in the founding of Nebraska and Kansas. Acheson was later a prominent figure in the Breeding Kansas events a small civil war in Kansas over slavery. His role in the war heavily damaged his reputation, and he died in 1886. While Atchison may not have actually been acting president, his story lives on as one of the stranger presidential myths. His grave marker currently reads that he was president for a day. Thank you.